what's up everybody I'm music man and welcome back to music man's ride as you can see I'm currently sitting out here in the music man's ride sound studio also known as my pickup truck I don't know what happened to the audio on here somehow my mic adapter from my GoPro came unplugged and it didn't record any voice in the recording all you can hear is just wind noise coming across it so I'm not a huge fan of voiceovers so I'm gonna do it this way I, I can't just go reshoot an entire new opening for the video because the the video of me riding around town with a tire strapped across <laughs> a tire strapped across my chest like a ammunition bandolier is just too ridiculous it just it's just too funny so I can't get rid of that and I can't do a voiceover so here we are we're trying this route so in this video I'm getting a new tire put on my bike uh, we're doing this myself the tire itself cost me about 150 bucks if I would have went to a dealership to have this done, you're looking at another 75 bucks for labor at least, uh, and then whatever it's going to cost to mount and balance, all that stuff. So we're looking at a two to three hundred dollar job by the time this is over. I'm headed out to Ranger Joe's. He's got all the equipment and I need to get it done. We're going to get the bike up on a lift, get the tire pulled off, broke down, slap back on there. Okay, and for those of you that might be wondering, even though it's not a tutorial, I uh, will tell you that the tire I'm putting on here is a Shinko 777, and the size of the tire is a 130-60-B19. Uh, the Street Glide Special has a low-profile tire on the front of it. This gives us a little bit of trouble later in the video, which you guys will see it was kind of a pain to take on and off because the sidewall on the low-profile tires is extremely stiff it, it doesn't flex a lot it doesn't move a whole lot so it's it's really hard to get it on and off of there i'm out here at ranger joe's uh, got kenton here with me gonna help me work on the bike so let's get this thing pulled in and get her started So this is probably the scariest part of this whole thing. Bikes up on the lift, well a jack, uh, about eight inches up off the ground. 
But uh, if it falls now, I'm not even tired to catch that thing. Tire is on. Let's get this dude backed out of Joe's garage here. And since we're at the ranger station for Lake Patrol, and we both about fell out from heat exhaustion working in the garage. I'm gonna introduce you guys to an old biker trick. We're gonna go down and cool off at the lake real quick. Yep, and I got it, I know. We don't, uh, don't have any swimsuits. But that's why this is an old biker trick. That's how all the old bikers used to cool off when you'd be out on a long road trip. And it's stupid hot outside. It's also a trick popular with desert rats. Just jump off the bike and we're gonna go get in the water. You do this? Yeah. All right. Let's go get in the drink. Yeah. 
took about five minutes to drive when we hit it out again. Yeah, it don't take much. Chile. All right, guys, so we're out of the lake, back on the road, and after almost falling out in the garage, riding around in dripping wet clothes, when it's still 93 degrees outside, I feel a chill. That's exactly why this is an old trick that bikers used to use. The uh, the whole purpose is to keep you cool. A little too hot around that corner. <laughs> uh, so now basically we're just out here and they say on a new tire you should put 50 miles on it before you really dig into corners which is why you see me trail so far behind Kenton here going around that one Got a brand new tire. I don't want to push it too hard. They used to say the reason why is the release compound that they put on the uh, the molds of the tire plant. I'm not sure how any of that really holds up now because I mean the tires don't feel slick when you get them back. But they definitely have a very smooth texture. So. <laughs> Always a little better safe than sorry. So far, no wobble in the front end. The tire feels smooth as glass. Now the tire I took off of there, if you believe it, was the original stock tire that came on the bike. <laughs> so, I put 22,000 miles on this thing. I had a little over 5,000 on when I got it. I'm sitting at 27,000 now and just changed that front tire. It was due. I mean, it was just time. The tire was starting to dry rot and it didn't help that I didn't watch my air pressure and ran it a little low for a while and scalloped the tire. So, now I've got that to deal with. But it's all right though. good stuff 
testing out the new camera. <laughs> Riding a little bit to dry off. <laughs> I tell you what, sure as right as rain. I'm gonna talk about probably the most useful motorcycle trick I've ever used. There's some times it'd be getting hot out here. When you've been out riding all day, you got a chance to jump off in some cool water. Guess I'll have my blinker on. Yeah, I figured since I got 50 miles to burn, might as well burn a couple while we're out riding around. Instead of just going straight home after fixing the tire. Plus, I need to air dry a little bit. But... Guys, I feel it's probably getting a little too dark for the cameras. So, I think this is where I'm going to cut the video off. I appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed the video, uh, <laughs> if you liked watching me look like a moron with a couple tire spoons, hit me a thumbs up, write me a comment. Tell me I look like an idiot. You're not gonna hurt my feelings, I promise. I mean, I look like an idiot doing it. One of these days I'll get that trick mastered. If you guys are enjoying the content for more videos like this, make sure you click that subscribe button. Turn your bell on so you get the notifications. And I will see you guys out on the next ride.